Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakwadash. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world and the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is Stick to the Basics, okay? The basics of this truth, all right? You got to you gotta learn the basics. You got to desire the sincere milk, as the scriptures say, all right? The milk is... is and they say that because a, a baby coming into this world, all right, is a baby. All he knows is, you know, the 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 is the uh, milk from his mother, or him, him, his or her mother. Okay, but that that baby just can't jump right into eating meat or eating solid foods. They have to eat milk milk first. The same thing with this truth. You can't just jump in trying to seek those deep mysteries uh, of, of revelations and Daniel's, and it's it's. You're going to, you're going to, you know, it's going to, if you come in trying to seek those deep mysteries right away, it's going to mess you up. Okay. Because the majority of the time, you're not going to understand what you're reading. All right. You read revelations that, you know, the 13, 14, when it goes into the beast, you're not going to understand that right away. You have to work your way up to, you know, it's levels to this. All right. And through experience, you'll gain, um, you'll gain wisdom, you'll gain knowledge. Okay. You'll, you'll, you'll understand that, you know, that um you you'll understand that it, it takes time to grow in this truth okay so let me hop right into the scriptures because you know and we're living in the times where you know you gotta and this is a kind of a uh response to the elder um another dog he did a lesson last week i can't think of the name off the top of my head where he just went into a lot of jakes out there asking all these you know different type of questions and you know dealing with dealing with the law and can you do this and can you do that you know, we're in a time where the question, the main questions you Jakes need to be ask, asking is questions pertaining to salvation. All right. Pre questions pertaining to building your faith and building your trust in your high body, shimmy, was shy. You know, all those questions about the, the, the about the law are, are, are good if they're sincere. But, yo, we're living in a time where, hey, we don't got a lot. We don't have a lot of time left. So w w the time that you do have, you better try to get right with the Lord and try to repent. All right. And, and, you know, worrying about all this stuff, like, you know, I, just off the top of my head, it was a brother. He said, can you go to strip clubs or can you do this? And, yo, that's irrelevant right now. All right. You know, you, you just should be concentrating on, uh, uh on prophecy or on what are you going to do when the time comes for you to take a, uh, for this devil wants you to take a Maxine or in, in, in ultimately the chip. Okay. So you, Hey, as a, hey, you come into this truth right now, you got to be concentrated on the, the, the important things. Okay, yes, you can, the service level things are, you know, uh, the, the abominable foods. Okay, keeping the Sabbath days. All right, not, not you know, uh, um, not committing adultery, not stealing from your neighbor. Okay, um, things of that, you know, the, the basic things. All right, the the, the, the surface level things, the, the, the um, like if you go to, you know, you ever been to a class in college, they got, you know, math one-on-one -on -one or, English one on one. You got to stick to the one on one stuff, the beginner stuff. Then you can gradually work your way up to uh, the things that are the deeper mysteries. This is the the first. This is First Peter two and two. Um, as actually, I started one. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. All right, so you get to desire that sincere milk, okay? You know, uh, 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 learning about Jacob and Esau, learning about, uh, you know, who the wicked is, okay? Learning some of the history that's in the Old Testament, all right? Some of the things in Genesis are kind of heavy, you know, um, Genesis, the first, the, you know, the first few chapters, because, you know, goes into creation. You have to know those certain precepts you have to go into. But a lot of the history you can learn. All right. You can learn about, you know, the, the our history as, as Israelites and, you know, how we went off as a nation. And, and you know, the, uh, the curses and, the, you know, the curses and the uh, uh, um, the, um, you know, the curses you know, Deuteronomy 28 chapter. OK, and then you can, you know, like I said, gradually work your way up to learning these deep mysteries. OK, because if you get you if you are throwing all this stuff, um, um, being thrown all this stuff at yourself at uh, or you're trying to learn all this stuff at one time, you're going to bug out. OK, um, 
Let me go to Hebrews. Because at the end of the day, hey, you're not, you know, people, Jake's trying to come into this truth, trying to get on the level of apostle. You're not going to be on the level of apostle because the apostles have experience. All right. The apostles have seen all kind of bug outs and all, you know, have seen all the types of questions that, that people ask. They've they seen it all. OK, so Jake's coming into this truth. You're not going to be on the level of apostle or even the elder because those, those those men, they have experience in this truth. And that's one thing that you can't you, you can't uh, uh, make up for. You can't all the studying you can do. You cannot gain that experience that those 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 elder elders have. All right, this is the book of Hebrews chapter uh, 5, and I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, for when, the, for when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye need that, so like you, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need, and, and, be, and are become as have need of milk and not strong meat. All right, going back to the scripture I read in uh, uh, First Peter, being as newborn babes, the desiring the sincere milk. All right, hey, a baby can't just go out and just, just and eat meat. Okay, I don't give a shit how thin it's cut. A baby cannot eat meat. A baby needs milk. All right, and as coming to this truth, which which you know, I'm a still a new, I'm a still a new uh, a babe in this truth. Okay, brothers with five years or you know four years are still newborn babes. They're still learning and 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 and, 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 and increasing in the spirit. Okay, that's what it's all about. If you if you if you're increasing the spirit and you're sincere, the, the heavenly Father is going to give you that increase. He's going to uh, open your eyes to new to new things. All right, because I always say this that you can read a verse, a chapter, uh, 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 you know, two times, three times, four times, and every time you're going to find if the spirit is dealing with you. Every time you're going to find something new that you didn't see. All right, you're going to see something or, or, or understand something that you might not have understand because that's the Heavenly Father dealing with you and in, in, in increasing your knowledge and open your eyes um, wider and wider. Because when you first come into this truth, your eyes are not completely wide open. All right, yes, your eyes, your spiritual eyes, not your physical eyes, but your spiritual eyes are not completely open all the way. But the more, heavenly, the, the, the more you increase, the more you, um, you know, you pray and you fast and you build yourself in the spirit, the Heavenly Father is it gradually opens your eyes to, so you can see uh, uh, these prophecies, so you can see these deep secrets, all right? Um, verse 12, everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe, all right? But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use, of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So those that have strong meat, like our apostles, like the, like the elders, they they they're full age. All right, they have that experience in the truth. Okay, um, let me grab this real quick. This is the book of. Let me jump back. Mm. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, four, and I'm gonna jump to go to verse verse eight. For honorable age is not that which stand at the top, which stand at the length of time, nor is measured by the numbers of year. But wisdom is the great wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and a unspotted life in old age. All right, so it's not like doesn't matter how old you are in, in years; it's about how many how how many years you have in the truth. Okay, because it's brothers that's been in the, that 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 may be thirty years old, but they got ten years in the truth. That's above brothers that's that's maybe 40 something years old that may only have five years in the truth. It's about your experiences in the truth. Okay. It is not about, um, you know, well, I'm older, so I know more. Yeah. You may know more about, about shit in the world, but hey, in this truth, that's what all that's, that's, that's what, that's all, that's what all matters. You know, it's so like, yeah, I'm fumbling over my words. Um, let me grab this book. Let me grab this in Ecclesiasticus chapter. Um, let me see. What is that? 34. Let me see. 34 and... 34 and 9. A man that have traveled knoweth many things, and he that have not... And he that have much experience will declare wisdom. All right, that's talking about experience. A man that has traveled, meaning that, you know, he has experience 
in, in whatever you know it you know whatever field it may be in in this in this lesson is talking about the truth all right um he that have no experience knoweth little but he that have traveled is full of prudence all right so if you have no experience you're not going to know you know as much as someone that with experience all right mainly in this truth okay cuz it's been just jakes out there that 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 read the bible cover to cover that don't know shit okay that couldn't tell you what the mark of the beast was all right couldn't tell you what the mark was okay but jakes that's been in this truth that that's been diligent that the most high is dealing with that the heavenly father is is open their eyes um you know wide open they can understand that these deep mysteries okay because, you know, like I say, man, we're living in the times where, you know, Jake coming with all these crazy questions and, you know, can you do this? And, and, and is man, we ain't living in those times no more, all right? If you're going to ask a question, ask a question that pertains to salvation, all right? That pertains to, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 building your faith, okay? Yes, you can get into, you know, like I say, you could, you know, get into the law if you want, you know, some things, but... Hey, we can't keep the law 100%. Okay, we only can keep the things that we can keep. And, and those things, and, and we we can barely do that, all right? You know, but but the things that we can keep, the, the righteous things we can keep, we do, all right? Um, This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and verse 21. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength, all right? So you searching for stuff that's above your strength, don't do that. OK, because you're going to just, just stress yourself out, wonder why you can't get it, because at that time and point, it ain't for you to get. All right. The Heavenly Father is is, is ultimately controlled. If he wants you to understand the certain certain scriptures, certain mysteries, he will. All right. But he'll give them to you when he's ready. Not when not because we're got to understand we're not we're not on our own time. We're on the most High's time. The most High is in ultimate control. OK, um, but what command what commanded thee? Think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. All right. So some things that are in secret, like the scripture says in um, Amos 3, verse 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing but revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. OK, so if the heavenly father wants you wants to reveal a secret to you, he, he will. All right. But th that's up to him. All right. That's up to. You know, to, to the heavenly Father, reveal that secret. If you, if if you, if you're, if you're righteous and you're sincere, all right, he he will re reveal some of those deep secrets to you. Okay, but if you're wicked, all right, the Most High is not dealing with, with not 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 you know. It's, but it's, you know, I can't say that because it's wicked niggas that know the truth. Okay, but if you're wicked, the Most High is not going to reveal all the secrets to you. All right, he's not going to reveal uh, uh, the mark of the beast to you. Okay, he's not going to reveal the four beasts, the four beasts in Daniel. OK, he'll have you thinking that it's something else or have you bugging out um, like these Jakes in um, where were they in Chicago, bugging out with all kind of doctrines saying that the, the, the Vatican City was Babylon the Great. All right. It's a lot of wicked doctrines out there where and it's, and it's a clear indication that the Most High is not dealing with those individuals. All right. Verse um, 23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters for many for for more things are showed unto thee then men understand, okay? So if, if the Heavenly Father is dealing with you, he's going to show you those things that, that you know, the, the men, you know, regular men don't understand that, that because, because the Heavenly Father is not dealing with them. All right. Um, oh, let me grab this. I want to grab this scripture uh, in the book of Psalms, chapter uh, 131. And actually the first verse, a song of the decree of David. All right, this is King David. Lord, my heart is not haughty, my eyes, my eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or things too high for me. And this is King David. He was loved, beloved by the most high. All right. He even said, I do not exercise in great matters or things that are too high for me. All right. So if you're coming into this truth, you're a babe. All right. Hey, going into the deep prophecies and revelations, they may be too high for you right now. Okay. Hey, desire that sincere milk. Learn the uh, um the basics okay and then you'll gradually you know if the heavenly father's dealing with you you'll gradually uh, uh build you up you'll build your spirit up to that point okay this is the book of titus chapter three and um verse nine this is a faithful i sorry eight this is a faithful saying all in these things i will that thou affirm constantly 
that they which have believed in the Most High might be carefully to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto man, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contention and striving about the law, for they are unprofitable in vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second of admonition reject him. All right, so say avoid foolish questions and genealogies. All right, and like I said, we ain't in the time to be answering all these stupid ass questions. Okay, we're in a time of prophecy. We're in a time that you, Jake, should be building up your faith. Okay, well, hey, because because the Heavenly Father is going is he's about to show his power. All right, and he's about to you know he's about to come down with great wrath. Esau's about to come down with great wrath. All right, so while you, Jake, is out there worrying about some something in the law, you need to be worrying about you know uh, um, the Heavenly Father covering you when this devil comes down. All right, the Heavenly Father putting his spirit on you to reject all matter of temptation. Okay, that's the things that you need to be worried about. Worried, worried about things pertaining to salvation. All right, the, the basics. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edified to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Abakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.